Elvis Summers isn't sure how many tiny houses he's built for homeless people since he started two and a half years ago, but he thinks it's around 42. It all began with Smokey, a 60-year-old homeless woman sleeping on the sidewalk in his Los Angeles neighborhood. He built her a tiny house, a very tiny house, just four feet by eight feet, and the idea took off from there. His latest construction is a little bigger, and he's building it with the help of a group of 9 to 11-year-olds from a local charter school. When the school uh, reached out to me and you know, said that the 4th and 5th grade class want to build a house, you know, I was completely excited. And, uh, and they said, well, you know, we, we want to build it a little bigger than you know, your normal size. And it's like, yeah, let's do it. The idea was sparked by a project the children worked on to create a blueprint and scale model for a sustainable small house. They contacted Summers, set up a fundraising website for materials, and the tiny house began to take shape. It's so amazing seeing it all come together. Summers isn't from a construction background. He just has a passion for building things and a passion for helping people. He believes the best way to tackle homelessness is to get a roof over people's heads, then deal with other issues. Nobody anywhere should be homeless, let alone in one of the richest countries in the world. And to me, it's just simple. It's, you know, the, the first thing that anybody needs to do anything in this problem is housing. When it's finished, Summers will set up the tiny house on private land or a mobile home park and will invite a homeless veteran to live there. Eventually, Summers hopes to establish tiny house communities with bathroom and laundry facilities and communal gardens, providing a tiny solution to the big problem of homelessness.